dangerous situations. Like Trevor's not out of danger here, right? In terms of me like following up my attacks, going for triangles, omoplatas, right? Smart people are gonna be able to follow up from that uh, attack, right? Because anytime we get in positions like spider web, right, the arm lock position, it's not just about the arm lock, it's about following it up and chaining things together, right? But that's our just, our regular, regular stuff, right? Is our hands are coming together, we're trying to get elbow past crotch line, right? All that really, really simple stuff. So, with those thoughts in our head, when we're defending, I'm just gonna give you the easiest, my, my e absolute easiest defense to an arm bar, which is I'm gripping my hands together, right? I like the high grip, I sneak my knuckles into the knee. Right? Even if he's clamping heavy on my leg, I sneak my hand and my knuckle in, and I'm gonna like bump and shuck over my head. Right? The most important leg, right? Like same thing with the back when we're on the back. The most important leg is the bottom leg because the bottom leg keeps their hips in place. The most important leg here is the head leg. Right? It isn't the body leg. His leg could be tucked in and wedged in, like wedge your shin on my rib cage. Yeah, it can be wedged in. It doesn't need to be across my chest holding me in place. This does. If you go, go both legs across now. And a really, really common break people will do is they'll take their body side leg and stick it in my bicep, right? Boom, right here, okay? If you're a novice, right, and you maybe don't know any better, and you take this leg and stick it right in my bicep, right, the top leg, all that does is allow me to just sit up and rip my arm out. I like the hands together, whichever grip you fancy, because I can vice my elbows in and I can find my knuckles underneath his knee. Right? I'm literally like digging my knuckles in under the knee to be able to like shut the bridge and turn it. Right? So I'm ripping my elbow down to the mat and we're in this nice little swing. Right? And we have to like be aware when we're creating those scramble positions. A, it's like order of operations. Would you rather have your arm broken or be on bottom? It's like I'd rather be on bottom than have my arm broken. You know, if we can defend the submissions and get in a better position, that's great. But this is just a really, really simple tool for you to have. It's just to be in this position and before, especially before they start locking their feet around my arm, right? That's gonna happen from my elbow being flared and now it's trapped. Now if I want this bump, it's way more difficult. So before that even happens, right? Keeping my elbow tight and bumping, getting my head out. I'm coming and driving in. Right, makes sense? Really, really simple. One, two, three, four. So our attacking position, when I'm on top, my, uh, my like rule is if you don't know why to cross your feet, don't cross your feet. If you can't give me the reason why we're crossing our feet, don't do it. Okay? Because then it doesn't make sense to you. You don't know why you're doing something, why are you doing it? You gotta know the reason why you're doing it. This is strong, right? We don't wanna worry about crossing our feet, right? Anything like that, unless like I said, we know the reason why. The other thing is I see a lot of people just Gripping the arm like this, right? This is super, super weak. This is a really weak grip, right? Not only that, if, if Trevor wants to just let go of it, no grip, and just one arm, and just flex, just like a bitch, I'm never gonna pull it with this grip because I'm using my whole arm. His arm's barely attached to me. Verse, having my entire arm move, move, gripping my own hip. I don't have fabric to grab onto, so my closest anchor is my hand. 
my own hip bone. And the really nice thing about this is I can connect my hands and re-thread them as many times as necessary. Right? So I can pick a side. Typically, we want to start out with the head side threaded. Right? So that way my hand that's by the legs is defending the legs. Because people will get wily with the legs. They'll reach up and grab my head just like that. And this hand allows me to keep them at bay and even sit to the side and hug the thigh. Once I hug the thigh, the legs are out of the picture. I like to keep the legs at bay and then I move my hands. Then I chain my hands and I'm gripping the opposite side. Right? I like to have this hand more free because I can do mean stuff to the face. Right, cover and pinch, do all sorts of nasty stuff. But then it's like my figure four grips come into play. Boom. Right? I can keep it on the hip as well as on that. Do that one arm flex again. Right? He does, does the one arm flex. Easy. Easy for me because it's attached to my body. And instead of here, making it his whole arm versus me, right? Trying to curl it, it is. I've isolated this part of the arm, which this part of the arm is the workhorse. The tricep and bicep are the workhorse. So those are the muscles that are going to be working the hardest. Versus the top, right? The top part of his arm, now it's sectioned off and it's literally me, my whole body, versus this top part of his arm. Try to do this, right? I'm going to find my way to it, right? It makes it even worse. Once you start cutting angles and hitting circles. Right? So we're going to go after a hitchhiker, all right? but when we go after a hitchhiker, we're going to do a really, really simple break at the same time. Right? So we're going to start with the leg, boom, we're going to start down here. Right? Phil asked me, you know, how do I make sure they're not bucking my leg off? A really easy way is by taking the arm away and making sure you're heavy on the leg. Right? I'm almost curled around his face here. Right? I'm hugging the leg. His legs aren't going to bother me. I'm over here trying to kick that leg off the top of your head. Right? It's not going to happen. Well, I'm in a pretty good spot for it. Right? Like I said, I like to get here and then switch my arms. Boom. Cool. Two ways I can do it. One, I can open, bring my other arm through to the hip, and pull my arm out. Right? Like really similar to our like mouse trap series and that kind of stuff. The other way is I can make a chain. Right? My hand's on my hip, and I make a connection with my hand. I like S grips, and I make the S grip, and I just follow the chain. Boom. Back to my hand. Right? And I'm here in this position. Okay? Whatever grip they have is fine. I'm going to take my head, arm, and I'm going to reach to the bicep. My other side of the tricep. I'm just opposite arm. Pull that arm in, and then that way I can circle fall down to the wrist, and you see even when he has a tight grip, it's going to expose his hand. Right? See how his hand curls up and exposes here? So I can slide my hand down, and circle, to find my finish. Right? So that's our break. That's the break we're going to use. Hands are connected any way they want. I reach, and I pull this elbow in. Right? It's going to loosen his grip and expose my hand I want to attack. And I slide right down the same hand. I don't like pick my hand up and go to the hand, right? Because you see what just happened. Trevor just retightened his grip, right? I pull the arm in to expose his hand, boom, and I get my grip, right? And this is not your like first defense. This is not choice number one. This is like choice number 15. This is like my like last line of defense. I'm about to get fully extended. I'm going to turn my thumb, stick it in his pocket, and I'm looking away. As I'm looking away, I'm going to walk away and roll over my opposite shoulder. I'm pulling my arm out, right? So I'm scooping my arm out. Like really, really similar to if you've learned that like Kimura counter where they've got a Kimura from uh, the shield, half guard, and they're attacking it, and you like dig your key lock up to the key lock up. That's a lot of key locks. But I get fully extended, and as he goes back, I'm sticking my thumb in the pocket, and I'm walking away and ripping my thumb. Make sense? Okay, let's try the break. Get the tap with the break, and then we'll go for the defense, right? Reset, break again, 
right? When you break the second time, your partner defends. One, two, three.